So here's the issue that I've come across. I'm just running a power automate flow, <clears throat> which is the parent flow I've created. Uh, and it's pretty easy. What the issue is, is when I've tried to run the flow, the parent flow and tried to run the child flow, the error, there's an error that came up. <clears throat> and the error says here, fail to parse invoke it connections from trigger, manual outputs, etc., etc. right? Not very helpful, uh, I must say, uh, but, but there we go. And it didn't obviously then go and run the child flow. So let me just show you what I've got here and how I put this together. So the first bit I've got is just a, an app because we're going to run this from this flow from an app. So I've got a button here connected to the power flow, uh, sorry, parent flow, and the parent flow is just going to run that flow. That's all I've got. Simple as that. I'm sure you'll have many much more complex stuff in your app, but just for for this purpose, I'm showing a simple simple app connecting to a flow and how that runs. So when you press that button, that's going to um, go and run this parent flow. All very fine. So I'll actually run it and we'll have a look. Just hit the button, I've got no messages or anything, just get out of there. And there we go, it's running along very nicely. And oh no, here's the error, oh my God, look at that. So there's the error there and it's going to a child flow. And the child flow is actually where the problem is. The problem is not in the parent flow. If I go to the child flow here, you can see I've got just the manual trigger, which you need to uh, to trigger from the parent flow. I'm just gonna, in this case, I'm just gonna send an email, nothing, nothing really fancy about that and of course you have to respond to the power app or the power flow to uh, to tell it that it's finished now what's actually going on here well the problem as i said is in the child flow so if i go back it's not within the in the area here but if i go back to the page here with the child flow what we what the trick is here is in the child flow you need to go to run on the users down on the bottom right hand corner here and go to edit now you'll see here that I'll have, I've got a connector to Outlook because I'm sending an email to Outlook. You might have one to SharePoint, you might have one to a number of other places. Now the trick here is what's it actually connecting to? It actually isn't connecting to the right place. It's actually trying to provide the, according to this, the connector is gonna be provided by the run only user, which it's not. It needs to be connected using the connection that we're using within the flow. So we change that to this connection. For some reason I've got two, but I'll use the top one. So use this connection. This is going to use the connection that's connected, and we're going to change this that it will uh, it will confirm that we're going to use that connection. So we click OK, save that. Going back to here now. Watch what happens when I go back. I'll get out of this flow. I'll go backwards all the way back to the app. I'll run this flow again. Let's have a look at the parent flow. Refresh this. Look, it succeeded. It's gone. The parent flood has succeeded. It's gone along, run the child flow nicely. If I go to the child flow and I refresh the child flow, then I've got 11 seconds ago, that succeeded nicely. So that's the simple way around this issue. Uh, it's not a very nice error message, not a nice issue, very difficult to find, uh, but I hope that helps you in some way.